YouTube channel is called Jackie Detritus. This is set up basically to um, as a different way of showing people about my blog. Uh, so I've just moved to Hanoi in Vietnam to take part in an English teaching program, and uh, I'm going to be writing a blog at least once a month. Um, I'm going to do try and do one of these a month in English and one in German as well. So I haven't actually started teaching yet. This is a sort of preliminary one. Uh, last week was spent in a hotel getting used to Hanoi and being in Vietnam. And this coming week, I'm going to actually be going into schools, meeting and teaching assistants, uh, do, taking a practice class to kind of understand how it's done. Um, so I really want to keep these short. Uh, yeah, YouTube channel is Jackie, spelled double L A Q U I, Detritus. Um, and my website is jacknutgens.wordpress.com. And then you've got kind of one page with all my blog posts and articles and music reviews. Uh, there's another one where you can find links to my short fiction and the poem on there as well. Um, which I almost forgot about and said someone was really nice about it uh, yesterday. I was really, really happy. Um, so I just kind of thought uh, there would be three things I wanted to tell you about my arrival in Vietnam. I'm not going to try and give you like, a Vietnamese history lesson because I'm really quite ignorant myself. Um, the, the first thing was about my arrival into Hanoi. I got quite a strange flight through from Manchester to Abu Dhabi to... Um, uh, Saigon to Hanoi. I should just explain actually. I'm in I'm in my room. There's no natural light in here. Um, I wanted to record this on the balcony, but we're in the middle of a sort of tropical thunderstorm, and there's no way you would've been able to hear me over the uh, the rain on the roof. Um, yeah. So so I arrived and I met at Saigon Airport. I met someone um, from the group, and uh, obviously I was quite nervous because uh, these are people I'm going to be living with for the next sort of six months, um, and I didn't know any of them. And he said, do you want to play chess? And I, I, I can be quite a socially awkward person. Um, I, so I said, yeah, oh, great. This is like something to focus on. So I don't have to worry about talking to him all the time. And, and it's ages since I've played chess. It'll be fun. It'll, it'll be a laugh. And then we kind of started. And then something in me went, I'm not losing this. And I was spending like five and six turns plan um not turns five or six minutes planning moves and it, it got kind of uncomfortably intense i found myself going i've just alienated one person already um through my arrogant competitiveness um and i actually ended up losing the game uh, i got into a position well basically we had to board the plane but there was oh, there was no way i was going to win from that position um so we actually we started in the um in the departure line it was kind of the main part of the internal bit of the airport and then we had to go through customs to get into the departure lounge and uh, the, the chess set was a sort of travel one so you could fold it in half put the pieces in the box and the um, pieces would actually stay in the places where they were so I carried this chess set through probably looked as though I was like concealing and some cocaine in it or something uh, through security <laughs> but the uh, fortunately for the Vietnamese guy at the um, uh, customers just thought it was funny. Um, yeah, so the second, I might just do talk about two things actually because this is already like three and a half minutes. So I feel like it's only um, so long that people want to hear someone talk in like a room of crap policy. Um, yeah, so the second thing is like um, just like copyright infringement. It's really funny. Like I put a picture up on Facebook the other day because I was we were in a sort of meant to be a village, really a sort of uh, collection of pottery shops. And there, were, there was one kind of children's shop that had like Spider-Man masks and it had loads of Lego. But it was called like Lerin or something. Um, and it was such a like blatant Lego ripoff. And they had they had taken these brands. So there was like there was um, something that was clearly some kind of battle droid or, or first order uh, ship. And it said Space Wars in the Star Wars logo. And then there, there was one that kind of had Thor and Hulk in it. And it said Heroes Assemble. And my personal favourite was Ninja Tortoises. Um, and I think I think you see quite like quite a lot of things like this um, in places like Vietnam once you, once you kind of start looking for it in the shops. But it, it was kind of amusing to me. Um, I kind of assume Lego aren't really going to be too upset. Uh, the final thing was just like about um, how difficult I'm finding the language. So I'm I'm lucky actually that I'm I have lived abroad before. I lived in Spain and in Germany, and both of those places have languages that are genetically quite similar to English. Um, in both cases, I had studied them quite a lot before I came. <laughs> and with um, the enemies, I just all I had was Duolingo giving me sentences like, uh, what's it, um, Doila de Tre Bintu, which is 
probably sounds wrong, um, which means I'm a normal child, and like, uh, what was I'm not a chicken, like, doi la hong fai gong ga, um, so, so useful vocab, uh, and it's been unbelievably hard, it's like, um, I said thank you to someone the other day, and she kind of had to ask her daughter or her friend or whoever it was, what's he saying? <laughs> um, uh, but it's, it's been quite enjoyable, I find, like, I used to live and work in Germany, and there you can talk to someone for ages, and they would continue trying to speak to you in English because they don't expect you to speak their language, whereas in Vietnamese, I kind of can say, like, the amount that, some, that something costs as I hand over the notes, and I'm like, aha, you speak Vietnamese so well. It was, it was really nice to, to hear. Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, end that now because I don't, it's like we're coming up to six minutes and that's probably quite a long time for video. Um, my, I don't know, my voice is sounding great actually because I've, I've got a really sore throat at the moment so I sound a lot deeper than I usually do. Um, tell me if I'm speaking too fast because I know that that doesn't help. Um, I'm also going to do one of these in German. Oh, that's my phone going off. Uh, and yeah, so if you go to Jack, not Jack, n u t t g a n s dot wordpress dot com. Uh, you can find under fiction. You can find there's free stories on there. Uh, one of them is called The Nipple Factory. That was, I'm really proud of that one. Another one's called Green Skies. I'm really proud of that one as well. Um, and if you look under articles, you can find blogs about my travels to Sweden. You can find blogs about me doing uh, Krav Maga in Germany. And there are other blogs on there as well, like music reviews and stuff. Um, so I hope you have a look at that and find it interesting. I will be putting up an article about um, my experiences in Hanoi, but at the moment I'm focusing on a new story that I'm writing, and it's going to be called The Tribe That Than Left. Um, and it's not deliberately that you've got a Vietnamese name, it's just when I'm writing about made up worlds, I'll try to give names that kind of don't have a specific ethnicity. But yeah, um, yeah, so I hope, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, like Thailand. Um, yeah, I'm going to put this on YouTube now. Alright, bye then.